Hey guys, this is Vic. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to update your KISS gear with D-Shot. Hope you guys enjoy and hopefully it's helpful. Okay guys, the first thing we'll need to do is download the KISS GUI with D-Shot. Go to the RC Groups links in the description. And once you're there, you should see KISS FC GUI D-Shot. Go ahead and download that file. Unzip it and place it in a folder. Next, within Chrome, just go to the Extensions tab. Once you're here, enable Developer Mode and click Load Unpacked Extension. This directory should be your unpacked zip file. Then select. And you should see KISS Flight Controller 1.14. You can launch that. And this is the new KISS Flight Controller GUI with DShot. Go back to the RC Groups page and download KISS Flight Controller 1.03. I'm going to download the T10.7 version of that. Once that's downloaded, just unzip it and place it in a folder. The next part we're going to have to do is hold the boot pin down on the Flight Controller and plug it in while we select the correct firmware which we just downloaded to update the KISS Flight Controller board. Okay, while you are holding down the boot pad pin on the Flight Controller, um, just plug it in. And you should see this screen. Um, select the firmware that we just downloaded. It's going to be this hex file and click flash firmware. Okay, once the firmware has been updated, you should see the success label. Go ahead and unplug the USB from the flight controller. Once you got it unplugged, reconnect it to the computer. Um, click the connect tab and we're going to go ahead and activate the firmware or the flight controller by clicking save settings. Once save settings is clicked, you should see an activated um, icon below. Okay, the next part of this process is going to be updating the ESCs with the D-Shot firmware. Go back to the RC Groups page and download KISS24A108 D-Shot. Once that's downloaded, just unpack it and place it in a folder. Go back to the GUI, click Connect, and go to the ESC Flasher tab. Go to the directory where you placed and unpacked the file. And I'm going to choose KISS24 DSHOT hex file. I'm not going to go with the debug file. Before you click Flash Firmware, make sure you plug in the LiPo. Once the LiPo is plugged in, click Flash Firmware. You should see the ESC's lights go on and off as the firmware update happens. Okay, once the ESC's are finished updating, you should see this screen, ESC flashing complete. Um, please unplug your battery and reconnect your flight controller. Okay, once you got the flight controller reconnected to the GUI. Um, to enable D-Shot, you'll have to change the ESC mode to D-Shot 600. Um, click Save. Also, don't forget to change your receiver. Um, and also, there's a few other tabs um, that you'll need to pay attention to, such as the flight controller orientation. Um, you'll need to change this to whatever it was. It kind of got moved from the configuration tab to the advanced tab. Um, also, min throttle, min command kind of look a little weird. So you'll have to change that if you're using K 
KCSEs as well. But that in a nutshell is D-Shot with KISS Flight Controller and ESCs. Thanks for watching.